Hello, my name is Bill Haynes and I'm with Fruity USA and I'm going to go through a uh, basically a run through of how to connect an X7 series radar up with a Navnet 3D multifunction display. Uh, the nice thing about the integration between these two products is that you can take an existing X7 series radar and you can actually connect it via Ethernet to any Navnet 3D multifunction display and, and actually get the targets from this radar onto the display. Uh, in addition to that, you can just utilize the fact that there are already charts built into the multifunction, multifunction display uh, to have uh, basically a, a second display or a second station to not only see your targets, but targets overlaid on top of the chart. Uh, it's very easy to connect. Uh, basically, all you really need is an Ethernet connection. Uh, so uh, it, it is a really simple, inexpensive solution for a second station uh, radar display along with charts and navigational data. So. Uh, what we'll do is I'm going to first talk about how to set up the X7 series radar uh, before you connect it to the NAVNET 3D. Uh, so what we're going to do, first of all, uh, if you uh, purchase a new X7 series radar, uh, the software version that it comes with is very important. Uh, the X7 radar should have version 2.51 software in it, uh, and, and that will ensure seamless connectivity with the NAVNET 3D. So I'm going to show you just briefly how to check the software version. We're going to do a self-test on the X7 series radar. Now, uh, the second thing you're going to want to check is you're going to want to make sure that basically the X7 series radar is set up properly right out the gate. Now, uh, for those of you who have already installed and connected uh, uh, and, and uh, uh, set up an X7 series radar, you'll know that you need to uh, do the uh, uh, routine things like uh, heading adjustment, uh, tuning adjustment, auto-tune initialization, uh, uh, timing adjustment and you'll also want to get into the installation menu just to make sure that everything's set up right. So I'm going to just uh, uh, show you a couple things specific to the Navnet 3D installation that you'll want to make sure that you've got. Now when you uh, have an X7 series radar connected to a Navnet 3D, uh, there are two things you want to make sure that you've got. You need to have heading uh, either from a, a high-speed NEMA HDT source or you'll want to have AD10 data. And uh, once you have heading uh, good on the uh, radar uh, you'll satisfy that requirement. The next thing you're going to also need is uh, uh, position from a GPS and uh, speed over ground. And uh, that's, that's pretty easy to connect. Basically there are ports on the interface board of the X7 uh, that, that uh, allow you to get that done. But uh, I'll go ahead into the installation menu and uh, show you some things you want to check that are specific to this uh, Navnet 3D connection. Uh, the installation menu is accessed on the, on the uh, X7 series radar by holding down the heading line off and pressing menu five times. Once you do that, that kind of enables the installation mode. So what I'm going to do is after I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and click on installation. Now it's very important that you have item number seven, which is the type set to C mode. That's the non-IMO mode. And that'll make sure that it works good with the Navnet 3D. So that's one thing you'll want to check for sure. Um, once that's done, you've confirmed your software version and you're sure that you have a heading and position and speed uh, into the X7 radar, uh, and you've gone through all the normal uh, setups of the X7 radar, including uh, uh, heading alignment, the uh, uh, auto-tune initialization, the uh, timing adjustment, uh, you're uh, pretty much set up and ready to go. And again, the, the goal uh, that we're gonna try to accomplish here is to get the targets uh, from the X7 radar over to the Navnet 3D. So, uh, now we'll talk a little bit about setting up the NAVNET 3D. Okay, now that the X7 series radar is set up as a standalone unit, we've confirmed uh, the things that we need to to make sure it'll work with the 3D, uh, we're going to go ahead and set up the multifunction display, the NAVNET 3D. Uh, before you do that, though, there are a couple considerations. First of all, uh, the connectivity that exists between these two components is done via Ethernet, and you can accomplish that either with a single Ethernet cable, cross cable, or you can connect each of these two components to an Ethernet hub. 
Uh, the other consideration you need to, uh, to look at very closely is the heading and position sources. You'll want to make sure that the heading and position sources for both the X7 series radar and the Navnet 3D unit are the same. Needless to say, if you had different headings or different positions, there's going to be problems out the gate. So you want to make sure that you uh, select the same source. Now, just a little bit of an overview on that. Note the fact that uh, for the purpose of this discussion, we are uh, providing separate heading and position to each one independently. So if one were to fail, you'd still have the sensor inputs to the other one. There are ways that you can actually connect sensors just to one and have them uh, basically feed that information over the network. And, and we'll uh, talk about that after we uh, pretty much go through this one. Uh, so as long as you've satisfied those requirements, you can go ahead and start looking at setting up the Navnet 3D unit. Now the, the multifunction display, uh, basically all the setups are done in something called the wizard. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to press the uh, menu button. Uh, and that's going to get us into the wizard. Okay, with the Navnet 3D, uh, basically when you initialize the wizard, it's going to be scanning the network for all the components that are living on the network. So uh, you're going to want to make sure that it sees the X7 series radar and that, of course, the X7 series radar is powered up when this process is being done. Now, if you'll notice here, it's found one radar source, and that means that that's our confirmation that it's actually found the X7 series radar. So that's a, that's a good and positive indication. Now it's important to note that in this uh, video that we're doing right now, we have a single X7 series radar and a single multifunction display. This being the case, we're going to want to make sure that this single MFD is set up as a master. And what that means is basically for master DHPC, uh, DHCP server setting, that's going to be set to on. Uh, once that's done, we're going to go ahead and hit the uh, next tab. Okay, now after we hit the next uh, tab, it's basically going to bring us to this screen uh, here, which is the uh, uh, setup portion of the installation wizard. Now, uh, the way that we have the system set up right now, we have separate and independent uh, position and heading inputs to both the X7 series radar and the MFD-12 uh, that we've got here. And what I've done is just clicked on the NEMA uh, port 2 input tab, and I can see that I've got position, heading, uh, date and time, water depth. This is letting me know what sensors I've got uh, in here. Uh, and, and once that you've, uh, again, verified that this information is here, uh, a quick check just, uh, check just to make sure that the radar uh, targets are making it from the X7 series radar over to this MFD-12 is to click on the radar tab. Now once that we do that, uh, basically you should see the targets appear and uh, uh, you know, basically you've, you've uh, accomplished what you set out to do. Uh, one thing to note is the fact that the adjustments here for heading and main bang uh, you don't need to mess with those because basically all those settings live and exist with the X7 series radar and we're just passively looking at the uh, the Ethernet data uh, for, for radar and whatnot. So uh, once that's done, uh, you pretty much, uh, uh, you're going to be good to go with radar targets from the X7. Okay, now that we have both our X7 series radar set up as well as our MFD-12, I'll kind of show you what you can get uh, uh, on the MFD-12 from the X7 series radar. And it's actually quite cool. Uh, right now, we're just looking at the standalone chart presentation, but of course, if you press the display button, uh, you can select either standalone radar or uh, radar next to the chart display. And I'll kind of run through a couple of the advantages that you have when you've uh, connected these two uh, units. Uh, obviously, you've got uh, radar targets from the X7 here, uh, and uh, just note the fact that when you uh, change the range on the X7 series radar, uh, the range is also changing on the MFD-12. Uh, also, if you want to control the range or some settings from the MFD-12, uh, basically just manipulating or changing the range here is going to also change it on the X7 series radar. And uh, so it's not just uh, a sub or a, a slave radar, it's actually a a full control radar and, and kind of living uh, 
you know, along with the X7 series radar here. It makes it, makes it really nice. Another nice feature uh, that you get from connecting an X7 to a Navnet 3D is the fact that you can acquire targets either on the X7 or on the uh, multifunction display and they will basically synchronize with each other. For example, if I see a target on my Navnet 3D and I left click on it, it's going to give you an acquisition box and window. And right now these targets are uh, being acquired and are actually uh, showing up on the X7 series radar as well. And I'll just go over to the X7 series radar and I'll pop a couple of uh, ARPA targets here. And you'll notice that they're actually coming up on the Navnet 3D as well. So there's a lot of functionality that goes above and beyond just displaying targets. They actually work very well together as you can see here with these uh, uh, ARPA uh, targets and their functionality. Uh, the way that you would cancel the targets on the X7, there's a single button uh, called target cancel. If you were to hold it down, they'd all go away. But also on the Navnet 3D, if you just hit the right click button and you go down to cancel all targets, it'll cancel the targets not only on the Navnet 3D, but also on the X7 series radar. So they really do work well together. And uh, again, uh, another uh, uh, thing to note is uh, the gain and the uh, C-clutter settings. Uh, when you change them uh, on the X7, of course, they're going to change on the Navnet 3D as well and, uh, and vice versa. So it's actually a really nice setup and, and makes for a really inexpensive uh, second station radar solution. And one really big advantage that you're going to be able to realize when connecting a Navnet 3D unit to an X7 radar is the fact that you can overlay uh, the radar targets coming from the X7 radar right on top of the uh, chart in Navnet 3D very easily. Uh, so if I go to the overlay menu, you can turn radar off and on uh, as well as have it operated uh, in a standalone mode. Uh, so it, it really allows you to leverage the fact that you've got a really, really nice radar on top of really good charts. Uh, for a, and it, it works great for an inexpensive solution for a sub-display.